everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through three quick wins with inventory that should help save you some time and hopefully spark some other ideas of things that you can also do with inventory. So first things, let's go through reports. I'm going to select all computers. And I'm going to reports and I'm going to run the application report. Now the application report is a standard report that comes out of the box with inventory. Here's what it looks like when you first run it, which seems like a lot to chew on. You see all the software on Allen Rails. The thing that's going to make this very usable and very easy is if you right click and group by this column. So you notice now I have now grouped all the software by name instead of computer. So you'll see how many different versions of 7-zip I've got out there. Um, you'll see 1805. That's the one I've got. I click on, I open that and there you go. There's all the machines that have the latest version of 7-zip. So Looks like right there I can tell I need to use Deploy to do some upgrades. The other thing you can do is you can search. Uh, the one I like to search for, and we're not going to find anything here, would be coupon for coupon printers. Um, you know, in case any of your end users would uh, use that. But that filter up in the corner will help you use that. So one, the reports. Okay. Number two, let me help you help you with your maintenance. So we're going to do a dynamic collection. Now, how many of you get calls from your end users? My computer's running slow, it's this, it's that. And what's the first thing you ask them? Have you rebooted? Okay, so what we're gonna do is build a collection call. I'm gonna call this uptime. And let's say you wanted to make sure your end users reboot at least once a week. So we're gonna give them 14 days, greater than 14 days. Okay, so to find that, we go to the computer table and we go down and we look for uptime. There it is, uptime. Our comparison is going to be greater than, we're going to fill out 14 days. So right out the gate, I give this an OK. There it is, uptime 14. Those are all the machines that have not been rebooted in, in less than 14 days. So I can actually now target like a, a reboot at all these machines. I could do a, you know, a, a remote command to reboot these. I wouldn't necessarily want to do that during the day, but I could build a reboot package and schedule that on a regular basis to run against this uptime 14 collection. Last one. A lot of you use group policy object. I know I do, and the issues I've always had with group policy object is, has this been applied? Okay, has the group policy been applied? You can find that out using inventory by doing a new scanner. So we're gonna go to options, scan profiles. I'm gonna build a new scan profile. We're gonna call this, uh, this is a WMI scanner we're gonna build. I'm going to call it WMI-GPO, group policy. Now, I'm going to add a WMI scanner. And here's where you have to add, you know, build your WMI query. The great thing is uh, we have included the WMI Explorer launcher from this button here. Boom, kicks it off. Double click to connect. And I happen to know under root RSOP, computer GPO. Now, you'll notice right here, there's my... Query. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to run this to make sure I get some data. There you go. You see how fast that ran? That's how fast it's going to run on, your, on the machines that you kick this off on. There's a little bit of overhead, obviously, to get it there, get it kicked off, and return the data, but it is a fast running scanner. So I'm going to copy that. The other thing you need to do is remember right here, root RSOP computer, the namespace. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to paste in the query. Here's that RSOP computer and then we need to name the scanner this is where you're gonna go find that data I'm gonna call this applied GPO now assuming I did all that correctly give that an OK give that an OK I now need to go and run that scanner on my machine so I'm gonna run it against all my machines there it is WI GPO and it's running now <clears throat> whichever one of these finish First, I'm going to go show you where that data gets collected. So I imagine my guess is Allen Rails is going to be pretty quick. Oh, there we go. Alto, Allen Rails. Okay. So I open Allen Rails. I scroll down on the left pane to WMI. And there you go. If you have more than one, you're going to need to use the drop down. There's my applied GPO. And if you scroll over, I can see the name. Here's the name of my applied GPOs right there. So now, like any of the data that you collect, you can do reports. You can do collections off there. So those are three quick wins. Hopefully it'll spark some ideas on other things that you can do with WMI scanners, with reports, 
and with Dynamic Collections. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike from PDP.com.